Chapter 3 brought a lot of new changes, and with the addition of sliding, there are many new peaks that you need to be utilizing to win more fights. Because of the addition of sliding, the half wall has become much stronger than in previous chapters. In past seasons, you would have to crouch walk next to the wall when editing it into a half wall, then uncrouch and jump to take the shot. Crouch walking lowers your move speed, and then you have to uncrouch before you jump. Because it's slower, it makes it easier for the enemy to be able to pre-fire you. But now, if you slide next to the wall, you can continue moving at full speed while protected. And as a bonus, jumping out of a slide is instant. You don't need to uncrouch first. Altogether, it's significantly faster than before, and will prevent your opponent from being able to get any return damage on you. However, making the half wall edit from this close is quite difficult at first, so you'll definitely want to head to creative to practice it before going into arena. Because of the weird camera angle, instead of turning directly to the left, you actually have to turn left and down to complete the edit. The next edit is actually no edit. Let me explain. The new Mark 7 rifle takes you into first person when shooting, which coincidentally makes right hand peaks with it incredibly strong. Using an unedited wall, you can fully shoot the enemy and they can't see you at all. With all other weapons, you normally wouldn't be able to shoot them, but the change in camera angle allows the Mark 7 to almost shoot around walls. But the camera moves mostly horizontally, so the peanut butter edit isn't as good here as it usually is. When peeking with the Mark 7, you're best peeking around an unedited wall or a simple window. This applies when ramping with the Mark 7 as well. Instead of trying to look over the top of your ramp, look over the right side where you won't be able to be hit. Keep in mind that the texture of the wall doesn't perfectly match up with the hitbox, so even though it looks like I should be shooting the wall here, I'm actually able to shoot past it to hit headshots when I can only see their arm. The new Stinger SMG has probably had the biggest effect on what the best peaks are this chapter. Its damage per second is so incredibly high that whenever you're able to peace control someone, they'll just try to use the Stinger and run at you as soon as you edit. But there are actually multiple ways to counter this. The first thing to do is to make sure you're not making wide peaks. Top right peaks are riskier than ever, and fourthile edits are even worse. The center window edit is the the safest option. In the past, right and left windows were good as well, but in chapter 3, windows on the side allows the opponent to just slide into your box. Now if you edit a window and they still try to shoot through your wall, you have a few solid options. If there's only one enemy, you can hold the wall. While the Stinger has a higher fire rate than the P90, that also means it runs out of ammo a lot quicker. And with its lower clip size plus longer reload time, it can't keep up the pressure a long time. Just wait for them to run out of ammo, then you can take the shot, or pop a mini if you need to. Now if there's two enemies holding your wall, it isn't as effective. Many of their bullets will hit you through the wall and if they're smart, they can actually push each other into your box to phase through it. So instead, we bait them into taking fall damage. When you're making new boxes, find a spot without builds under you. Then move to the side of the box and phase a cone or stair. Once they break through your wall, just edit out the floor and watch them fall. They'll either die to fall damage or if their reactions are good enough, they'll catch themselves in time. Either way, it buys you time to heal. So make sure to start practicing these things and working them into your muscle memory so when tournaments come around, you'll be ready. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Farewell!